What's up, ninjas? What's going on? Pump Monday. That's what's going on. Gotta be careful of my neighbors, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hope you guys are doing good on this cloudy Monday. Rained earlier today, and then it stopped. Something in my eye. And then it started, and then it stopped. So, I figured, since we're not working today, obviously, let's finish with the trailer. So first thing I'm gonna go do, ninjas, is I'm gonna run to the store real quickly, and we'll continue this video when I get back. But I'm gonna go see if they have the exact tools that I took off, because the reason being for that is whatever I put on here, I need the extra longer screws, for example, because the frame is really thick. And you can see your regular bolts won't go through, so I, you need to get some longer bolts. But I really don't want to use the ones that have been on here, even though some of them are still seems like okay. A couple of them are kind of rusted and really in bad shape, but I don't, I don't want to use, I just want to go get new ones, okay? So I'm going to do that. Then when we're going to come back, and we're gonna see what we're gonna put on here. So a lot of you guys know I've been running Green Touch for quite some time now, and they faded really bad. So had a couple of conversations with them and they really rocked me and shocked me, I guess you could say. And so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything off and we're gonna do something different. Got some angle iron over here, but we're gonna, we're gonna make our own of some sort all right, but let me go get the bolts. Hopefully the rain will hold up, but if it doesn't, it's okay. We're under this carport, which is one of the reasons why I parked here because I knew that the rain was uh, being called for. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope a lot of you were able to work today. I didn't. I could have. There were periods of time where there was like nothing, but you know what? It's one of them days where I just, I've committed to this. I got to get this done. So that way I can have a good solid week the rest of the week. And uh, keep in mind, GIE is around the corner, so this is going to be one of those crunch weeks and into next week, because GIE is just, what, like something 10-something days away, and uh, it'll be really uh, exciting. Also, the Ninja Gathering, I did mention it to you guys like two videos ago, but down in the comments section or in the email at sgninjas at gmail.com, email me where you would like the next Ninja Gathering to be. So the last video I mentioned it, well, two videos ago, and I've gotten quite a bit of, a few comments, but quite a bit of emails. People just throwing me to states and cities, so that's awesome. But I really, really need that to be continued, so that way we figure out where is the uh, highest request, I guess you could say. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's go shop around, get some of the more bolts, nuts, and uh, come back and see what we're gonna do with this. Let's go. All right, ninjas, we're back. These are the old faded racks. Went ahead and got new bolts. So let's get started. Hope you enjoy. We're gonna to try to come up with something ourselves because this is not working. Green Touch rocked me and um, really surprised me. And you ninjas know, ninjas don't like any surprises and uh, we're gonna do our own thing here so this video is gonna be a little bit different i am gonna show you a little bit here and there but honestly ninjas have powers and one of the powers that we have is flick of a finger things happen so this is gonna be more of a flick of a finger and you're gonna see what i come up with here these racks are good, but the fading thing is not really something that I uh, think looks good. Anyway, enough chit chat, flip of a finger, we'll have something on here. <laughs> All 
my ninjas so there it is those are the new racks got the two position here three position over there just like it was sure cage sure cage two blower racks and one blower rack over there and then we got the sprayer rack i haven't installed just yet just because they changed holes on me and i'm gonna have to drill new holes so i'm gonna do that another day but there you have it that is it and it got dark on me but i was uh spending some time out here with mama and baby ninja and you know i knew it would go it wasn't gonna take forever but it was gonna take a little time so nothing too crazy so i didn't really rush and here it is so i just wanted to show you before i conclude this video i just want to say a big shout out to green touch for rocking me with these new uh trimmer racks blower racks sure cages and these are the ones that are not supposed to be fading they have had some issues with them as you saw the old ones but I believe and they believe that they have fixed that problem. So with that being said, they went ahead and sent me new ones because it just looks better on the trailer. Chica, chica. Big shout out to them again one more time to Dan and Jordan just for uh, standing above the rest. And, you know, business is business at the end of the day and I really do appreciate them. I was gonna actually record just like I did last time with everything that I took off, but I felt like, you know, you guys have seen it, it's the usual, and I wanted to just do a little something different. So, not a big deal. And like I said, I still gotta install the sprayer rack, but everything is bolted down. You know, I just gotta put the locks on it and uh, put a... Uh... Now, one thing I do have to do, let me move the light right over here is for the trimmer racks on both of them I do have to put the engine support so I haven't had a chance to do that but they go right here so I will be doing that at some point uh, tomorrow or Wednesday not a big deal because a lot of people even run them without it but I will uh, I will get those installed these are really nice really smooth and i just like that way to feel oh another thing i gotta change i gotta change these bars so it comes with the standard and i know the lighting guys i'm sorry but i do have to switch it to the uh, bigger one and that's super easy to do not a big deal just because these will fit the 770s but they will not fit the pb 80 10s and the new uh steels so but there you have it that is it Got the all-time crazy Piranha trimmer line. And we'll see how these last throughout the winter and going into fall, winter, and then spring. Hopefully, there'll be no more fading. And look, a little fading I'm, I'm okay with just because the sun is beating down on it. And, you know, I get it. But if you look at the old ones over here, I mean, it is bad. It is just absolutely bad. I mean, you can see the back where it was not getting as much sun, so it didn't fade. But, uh, I mean, look at the front and the sides. Perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with them. Just needs to be sanded down and um, maybe sprayed a little bit with the rust and just really painted. And... Uh, Here's the old trimmer racks, and I've got more of them that are uh, put up, but these were the ones that were out here. So yeah, looks good, looks good. I am super impressed. I always loved that green color, and so I was really disappointed when they started fading, but uh, doesn't look like, hopefully we'll have that issue again, or at least for a long, long time. I hope you enjoyed for whatever the video was. I was going to do a little bit more, like I said, the installation and whatnot, but I didn't. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to get this done and I wanted to show you what's on here. It's going to be an interesting week just because we didn't work today. Didn't go get nowhere near as much rain as I thought we were going to. I'm hoping that lighting is, uh, hope you guys see me. Well, I could go in the garage too, but so it's going to be an interesting week. I uh, might have some help 
throughout the week here and there by some ninjas. We'll see about that. Um, but yeah, it'll be one of them weeks where it's a good long week and I'll try to get plenty of footage. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, some of the areas where my yards are got more rain than when we got here and, um, there'll be plenty of mowing footage. This is the last of the mowing footage anyway, so to say, because we are getting ready to go into fall and aeration is just around the corner, which reminds me, I do got to bring out the Toro stand on aerator and I do have to do an oil change before we uh, put it to use. Um, when I used it this last spring, I kind of just parked it after I finished using, I cleaned it and washed it up the best I could, but I knew it was due for an oil change. I just didn't really want to fool with it. And I figured if I ever get some time, I will, but it's not urgent. But I always do go back in the shed and I kind of start it up and let it run for a few minutes every couple of weeks. So that way it doesn't just sit there during the whole summer. There it is. Green Touch rocked me. And uh, big shout out and thanks to them one more time. So as you can see, I still got all the parts up here, like the engine stands that I got to install. So that'll be coming up and then uh, what else was I going to show you? I was going to show you something else. Oh yeah, my SK wrenches came in today. So if you remember my last video, it was only this side, but now it's completely. So I've got 3 fourths, 11, 16 and uh, then it goes into metric right here, which is starts with 8, 9, 10, all the way from 8 to 19. Anyway, big shout out to uh, SK Tools and my phone is always going off when I'm starting to record. So yeah. Oh, and I've been using, of course, SK. But I, uh, I got to wipe it down and put it up. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Um, got plenty of uh, spare and extra bolts that I always keep. And these are all my bolts right here separated and whatnot i like to keep everything organized the best that i can this is my trash but i like to keep everything organized the best that i can it's not perfect but uh, at least i know where is what if i really ever need it i've got plenty of uh extra keys oh one last thing before i forgot before i forget or i almost forgot check out these huge combs now there are three of them and these are their new green combs. And I've been really, really uh, waiting for these for a while. So they finally sent those as well. Super, super uh, nice and um, clean. Because <laughs> the ones I have are super old and dirty. And uh, I have washed them before. But it's not just that they're dirty. They're faded. But these are awesome. Now, they are, these are a lot bigger, too, than the ones I got. Uh, so it's going to be really, really nice and visible when I put them down, which is all about safety, ninjas. It's all about safety. So I really uh, uh, am glad that they sent me the bigger ones because when you put these down, you know, it's all about for other ninjas who are driving these freaking cars that are flying um, by you so they see them. So it's all about visibility. So... There it is, Pro Series Safety Gear, TrailerRacks.com. All right, ninjas, have a good night. Take care. Peace.